हे वॉट्स अप गन पेस थ्री हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर एक्साइटेड एलिमेंट थ्री डी ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम स्पेसिफिकली फोकसिंग ऑन लो पॉली आर्ट एंड इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू सीन दिस टू आर्ट विच आई पोस्टेड रिसेंटली दिस लो पॉली आइस लैंड एंड दिस इज लो पॉली रूम सो आई फोकस्ड ऑन क्रिएटिंग एवरी थिंग विथ एलमेन थ्री डी विथ बेसिक प्रीमेटिव सो इफ यू विल फोकस दिस होल थिंग और दिस होल वन यू विल फाइंड देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ क्यूब्स द होल थिंग इज मेड बाई ओनली बॉक्सेज एंड हियर यू कैन फोकस this is box cube box this is cylinder cylinder and this was made using some of the mask and extrusion so i got a lots of comments and a lots of love from you guys so today i am going to create one more low poly art using element 3d 100% element 3d and this is the you know idea for two days i i mean i downloaded this art from Pinterest and today I'm going to focus to recreate this thing using element 3D. I mean, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, I will highly recommend to subscribe because you will get a lots of really good content here on my channel. Related element 3D, you will get anything which you can imagine and which is possible. You will get on this channel. So I will highly highly recommend so subscribe this channel. And if you will find this video helpful, please hit the like button and leave your feedback how much you like this content. And if if you want to be a part of my community, like you can just hit the join button on YouTube or you can also go and visit my Patreon page where I upload most of my project file, high quality project file and some of the breakdowns some of the private tutorials and uh, and of course early access so without any more delay let's get started the tutorial after this nps 3d intro this whole thing is made by box you can see this is box this is box this is box and everything is box so today i will show you what possible with just basic primitives so let's get started first make a new composition 2048 by 2048 this is the resolution which i render for instagram so it will double your resolution so when you post the picture will be very sharp and very clear and hit okay and one more thing guys don't skip this video otherwise maybe you will lose some of the ticks and trips which you don't want to lose so let's create a new solid and this is fx console i i am pressing control and space and this is from you know this logo this awesome logo remind me a person who is awesome so by the way let's search element 3d go to the scene setup and let's build the whole scene using cube so let's go to the create and this is the box fine so i'm going to maybe just down the chamfer because the edges is softer but not this much so i and any time if you want to you know just if you will drag it it will go very you know just hard uh, very higher amount i mean it will decrease or i what i mean how i will tell you but the point is if you want to get a precise control to the you know this things you can press control and it you will go very slow to get the perfect shot so i'm going to somewhere around here and then i will just you know just make the size so one more tip guys don't scale it any time if you want to you know just don't scale it like this way it will stretch your object there is a option for size let me drink a sip of oh, wow what is the product i mean let's focus here scale the size i mean just make the size bigger don't scale it the point is this so i will size increase the size so maybe this going to be 2 1.2 here so this is good maybe 1.4 maybe yeah perfect but if 
you will observe clearly there is a part by part by part you know this ob this box i mean elma 3d don't provide you a uh, editable mesh which you can edit and move and things all around so what i did i will create part by part by part things like if i will see these things see this is the background so i will increase this little bit more like 1.4 and this gonna be i will rename i will rename it to the inside and let's duplicate this model then i will you know just create the separation so first i will build this pillar and then i will build this one then i will build this one and then i will build this one and this let me put it here and just down the size of z 0.10 is pretty good i will put it here and then i will just down the size of x because i want to create this pillar this is not the pillar but and i will make it little bigger so i will make it 1.5 here and if you want to be very sure about your position you can just change it to view like i want to go left and i want to match this you know the pressing control will help you here perspective and pretty good and maybe i can scale the 0.4 and one thing i just forget to mention you have to invest your time here because it will take time to create and i use alt to duplicate the object in viewport so i'll press alt and duplicate here and then i will place it here because i want to make a door and then i will press alt and just rotate so it will duplicate and rotate it here and then i will place here i will press control to select the object and i will place here so this is the size i mean this will be the size of my door and i will make it maybe little taller so yeah perfect and i can just select this pressing control i can select the object go to the object here and then change the x value because you know i want to cover this like this so perfect and maybe i will make it from here to here so i will increase the y also then i will just select this one and press alt and make it here so this way and press alt again and drag to it will duplicate rotate it and make it here yeah perfect so we created something right then the part is i want to create the door so i will press alt and duplicate here right and then i want to move this object in another group and i will drag in here so this way i have a new folder for door so sometime if you want to adjust something or move the door specifically so this will help you so i will go inside the door select this one and i will just try to build the door so first i will just down the y direction and the door has two object one for the frame and one is the door so first i will create the frame so by for frame i want a smaller like this one and maybe i'll down the chain for little more so i'll press control and just down it like this way i'll increase the x direction so because i rotated the object the all axis is also rotated so like this way and here if you are you know facing issues to c so you can just simply create a new material apply and then change the color so it will little i mean it will help you to you know understand all things and press alt and duplicate and place it here and press alt and just rotate it down the this x value press alt and make it here and make it little upward like this way so you know i am happy with the result and then i will select 
any of this press alt and duplicate and just rotate it to make the door so here is a another option i mean another thing the door has three part one second and three because we are modeling with the box so we are only focusing with the box so i will just down the y and make it only that much of bigger which is necessary by pressing control you can go smaller and just make it make the z like this pretty much i mean pretty good i can make it even thicker if i want like this 1.5 is pretty good and maybe i can make it like this and then i will press alt and make it bigger i mean the z and then i will just down the x like this way and if you want you can overlap these things which is not an issue you can see pretty good press alt and duplicate and make it here and make it little thinner so this way this is the gate which you can see and it's pretty good and if you want you can just press alt and rotate it and make it like this way so this is the gate we done it man just clap for yourself i i mean it's amazing you are a modeler inside element 3d now you can get any job now let's create one more i mean i'm going to create this flower pot this is not a flower pot but i am going to tell it the flower pot and i here is a uh, one more thing guys you have to create this you know this frame this frame for window so i'm going to make select this one create a new composition i mean this new group and this going to be our frame and then i can create a uh, create or just simply select this one and press alt and move it here and make sure this is in this group so just drag it here and good now let's increase the x and you can go to the front view anytime and let's go to the perspective again and then you can see this is inside so i'll first down it i'll just down the scale of x by pressing control and then i will just down of z like this way press alt and place it here and make it here i mean control z make it here press alt and just down it and press alt and drag and it will create a duplicate you can see how easy this is and if i want i can just make it two sided window if i want so i want to make the two sided window and then i will just alt and drag it here and make it like this and same for here so perfect we created something which is amazing now for the window part i can create a new solid i mean this plane is the solid make it make it two sided rotate it and you can just scale it if you want or you can just down the this values and paste it in between of these holders like this and because we can't see i will create a new material apply this and maybe i will make it not create a new material apply here and make it so i can see this clearly 
then we can fix it any time later wow amazing amazing and then i can just duplicate this frame again and i will place it here if required because this both things are i will make glass so this much detailing is pretty good now we have to create something for this part so i will just simply oh man how many times i have to tell you this is the box just duplicate rotate place and that's it for the area now i will focus for this one or we can first focus to make the whole scene so if i will open this gif you will see there is also some detailings in behind because there is another wall i mean there, there is another door so let me create that and let's see there is nothing inside i mean there is yeah this one we can create easily so let's select this one alt rotate place and just increase the size that's it this is good then i will create one more door i can just duplicate this door duplicate this model and then i can just simply rotate it like this way and i can just simply place it here and uh, i can just remove these things because i we don't want increase the size of and here here is another tip uh, let's suppose we duplicated the uh, door and we placed it here and now you can see this is not fit the size which we want to make the door so i can select all object one by one let's suppose i press control and select this one and then i will just increase the x because i rotated the object the x is changed so i will place it here like this way you can see or it's coming here so i will just make it little little smaller man this is good so pretty much good we created the thing now control i mean <laughs> okay and control s do ki zindagi ki from akhil bhai computer computer mein aa let's save it so we saved the project oh my god let's go to the scene setup and let's build the roof this roof area so let's create another group and i want to focus everything which is pixa this banner this holder and this roof is in another group so roof let's create a uh, let's create or just simply press alt and just press it here and just make sure this is inside the rough r o u z h rough samajh rahe ho this is not the actual roof this is rough fine you can see and if you think this is not too good i mean we can see the as there is a two option to fix it first you can just increase the width of this pillar or the as or you can just simply press alt and select and make it duplicate 
and then you can just increase the size of this and place it like this way this is amazing and then we will create this one for this now the part is for this one so let's for this particular sheen we can use the cylinder but i don't want to make cylinder i mean i want to use the box so let's create i mean let's make another group and this is gonna be our banner and let's create a box let's sit here and one thing which i forget to tell you don't forget to make optimize mesh because we are creating a bunch of geometry so maybe in some time it will you know be slower so i am creating too many objects just because to make the scene look good because the detailing is everything so let's make the round shape like this one there is a two option which you can use just like you can use to draw some mask inside element i mean after effect and then you can extrude and make this one that will be very useful because in some cases the shape can be different so this is the front part so let's focus here and let's select this and this down the size and make it like this so pretty good i like it you can increase the chamfer if required but this is good i will press alt and create boxes that gonna be work as a holder i mean this this object i can just down the chamfer and create select create three pretty good then i will create this this lines this one you can see here don't focus to activate window focus here these lines this one so it's easy to create let's create a box control z or simply select this one and drag it here and let's focus one more time this will be okay i did something wrong so i will select the banner and i'll move it here and then i will select this boxes and place it here perfect then i'll press alt and uh, maybe i will make it little bigger and then i will rotate it like this way and i will place it and again i will rotate it like 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 this way and then i can just alt and place this into every everything and uh, i will select this this part that's why i told you to make all things in a separate because now i want to move this in here but due to some issues i am you know just facing little issue to move but yeah maybe this is gonna work perfectly so this is okay now i have to only i only have to create one more lines so press w i mean press alt e and shift so it will duplicate and rotate 
and then I can rotate like this way and I will down the size of maybe Y just increase a little bit yeah, perfect press alt and make a duplicate and place it here alt and place it here again and if if you want to make the detailing even more you can you know add some bolts but i'm not gonna do that this is pretty much enough now let's focus for this flower pot so let's suppose first i want to make this one and here the option for the sign so let's suppose i mean let's make it so let's make the sign hit ok and let's create uh, another box and just you know just down it and make the chamfer like this increase the segment so it will make it smooth and just down the X like this and let's place it so we will see the scale so it should be very not very but it should be thinner so let's suppose 35 here and point 35 here and point 35 here as well as and make it here and let's make it little you know just little chamfer like this and then I'll press alt and drag it and just down this so it will create a sign I mean sign holder and I can maybe I can make two of them and because if I will use any texture to create this shape I mean if I will use any texture and I will apply on this object sign board just because this is a box the texture will apply every faces so for fixing that issue I will create a, another plane and I will place and I will make the size of this board so I will use the texture here and it will work like we want so let's we know the size so let's paste 0 0.35 0 0.35 here which is I think let's duplicate the material and apply Control Z and apply here Control Z apply here let's select the plane and make it first make it two sided and then apply <laughs> what go is going on I don't know let's rotate it get a new material and apply here and make it red so you can see this is good we can make it down if I want but we can adjust it also later so leave this process here 45 minutes is over and I just builded this thing but I am happy what I am doing let's create another folder grass window grass I can rename it to the window grass I am very sorry for my weird names let's create another box and place it here and just down it and then I will press alt and place it here again and maybe I'll just down the size a little bit from the every corner and I'll place it I mean I will place it here
and then I'll increase the chamfer and increase the segments so this is gonna be our grass so let's suppose let's apply a new material and let's make it green so according to this you can see this is pretty much I mean pretty good and same thing we will do here for this one so I will just duplicate the window grass and here is another issue let me show you how you can fix it here you can see when i select the window grass group the anchor point is not on the right position so i will go to the top and i will just lock the anchor point and then i will move i'll go to the left and i will place it here or whenever i want so I'll let's suppose I press here or maybe I will press here go to the perspective unlock it and then duplicate the group press alt or just simply duplicate here and just rotate it and place it here I mean this side you can go to the top view anytime to see let's go to the left view and good I mean just make it little down and this good but here you can see the case is different so I will just select it and delete, delete it I will select this object and uh, make it like this way I'll just down the chamfer press alt rotate and then I will create these things so first I will create a new cylinder of course I mean the box of course and just make the size maybe I, I should make it even more taller let's go to the maybe left yeah left and let's say place it in a good position increase the chamfer increase the segments Go to the perspective and you can see but we don't want this this much of a chamfer so i will just down the chamfer like this maybe this is pretty good or maybe you can just down it even more press alt So this is good and if you want you can just make it some of them random I mean just some of them little smaller you know you can just make it like that to make it some of the variation you can increase the chamfer few of them so it will look more different from the other one so this is the ideas for everything and let me create few more things which is left So let's create this dustbin boxes. So let's create another group for the dustbin, and I'll create another box, and I'll place it here. I'll just down it. So let's make it little. Point seven five is pretty good. And then I will press Alt and duplicate it and make it like like this and make it just a little bigger and place it here. She love <laughs> dusty bean. That's all. That's all my point. 
then i will just make them whole things in one group so i'll select everything and that can be inside the dustbin inside another group and this gonna be our cap and let's go to here and again lock it and make it let's go to the left the process is very long i don't know how much i will show you pretty good then i will just rotate it little bit just like this way dustbin has some of this curve which we can't you know just do inside element 3d so we have two option first we can create a mask and then extrude it is extrude that thing and that will work perfect so let me show you and let's create a new solid and let's create a grid and let's draw the left part so let's suppose this is the dustbin and in here and in here this has some of the curves in dustbin so that's why the reference is very important which will give you a you know very good this is it let's select element 3d go to the custom layer custom texture text and mask and i will load the dustbin mask and make sure this is selected to the effect and mask or simply mask let's click on the extrude button so now we have this thing and make it optimize mesh and the thing is i have to scale down so i will go to the transform and i will scale down it until i will satisfied perfect then i can select the bevel and extrude it so extrude it let's make it 50 yeah 50 is or maybe 46 is will be perfect and then i will select the cap place it here and maybe i have to scale it so we done so far i mean our dustbin is pretty good let's check i think i should have to you know just down the or just simply make it upward and let's add some you know just create one more box just because we have to create four legs and done it oh we created now we have to create a few of these things which is our i don't know what is exact, exactly this is but i think this is just a win so let's select this and press alt and make a copy let's make it press alt and duplicate and place it press alt and duplicate and place it maybe we can just rotate it to give some of the you know so this is pretty much good it press alt and duplicate and you know just place it here on the ground yeah. this is good maybe we can just down it like this way hit ok to save it 
because it's very important let's go to the scene setup and what is left so i will just skip this part i don't want to make it i have to make the yeah i have to make this sign and maybe this lamp and this window and this pizza letter and this thing oh my god too many things i have to make more so let's first model this one and this is very good so hit okay and i have to create an another mask so i will create create the grid create a new solid and i have to make this so i will select let me make it like yeah this shape is perfect front let's go to the element 3d custom layer custom text and mask and i will load the front and make it mask go to the scene setup and then i will go to the door here is a door and i will click on the extrude button and make sure this is a custom path too and place it here rotate it and then i'll make it to the low poly i think i have to make it high or maybe ultra and then i will make it to optimize mesh and then i will select the bevel first i will make it smaller door is here i think place it here and uh, this will be on the top maybe from here so i think this is good not bad maybe you can down it maybe 15 if required so 15 is also looking very good and the only thing which you have to do is make it extrude it so it will be some thick line so maybe 6.5 is pretty good and you can also work for the curve so make it bevel back side and bevel curve you can just maybe bevel size i can increase it yeah that's good and then i'll press alt and duplicate it many times and let's work for the pizza and the sign so let's first up write a text solo this i mean just delete this layer i write p i w z a pizza this font is pretty good and uh, that's good go to the element 3d custom layer custom text and uh, mask and i will load the pizza here a scene set up and then i'll go to the sign i mean the banner one and i'll extrude and make it to group 3 there is a pizza and then i will just maybe down the scale so this looks good for now and uh, optimize me check the on now the next thing is only i left is this pizza sign which i don't have right now so i'm going to make it myself I 
is like this so this is <laughs> this is a piece of a pizza which is obviously not too good let's go here and just drag the texture and go to the element 3d custom layer custom texture map and load the texture here and then now we will work for the texturing so let's select this layer and just make the diffuse color white and then load the texture here and go to the advanced section and make it alpha threshold and maybe you can just rotate it and maybe I can just scale it and I can also duplicate this layer and let's first correct the texture increase the diffuse Let's alt and just duplicate and place it this side as well as and make a green texture like this one but little darker duplicate and select and go to the diffuse setting and make it just a little down and make it here pretty good and for the holder I want to make duplicate this material and make it little black and just paste it here nothing very special like this and I can just down the glossiness because I don't want any glossiness in any material so yeah make it a little brighter and then I will select this window part and make it red is good I have no complaint with red I will increase it I don't know where I used this one maybe I will I will select this material and increase the brightness and make it we can also color correct when we want but like this down the reflection and uh, that's it let's apply this material to the door or we can use the glossy material so i will create a new material and apply here in this three object and i will just down the basic setting to i mean diffuse color black and increase the intensity so now this is a glossy material which is good and for the window part there is a yellow this one I will go to the advanced section and make it to the additive and then I will just select this and I will maybe just down the diffuse color maybe to black or white because in the base color here this inside option I want to make it colorful so this color maybe so I will select and make it this color like this you can see amazing and then I will just focus on this part so first let's create a new material and apply to the wall and this is gonna be a ultimate so I'll make the, this looks good right increase the strength and down the glossiness and apply everywhere Here you can see the issue let me fix it at least make it like 
this much. Let's duplicate this material and make it little grayer and black and apply to here and same for this is and this for here so we created so far like this then I will select this material and apply it to this one and I will make it little more this color amazing let's drop this here and uh, for this one let me duplicate and let me make it little little like this one and apply here here and here and just down the glossiness and make it little brighter and let's apply the green material here and uh, the black gray one in here so let's suppose the dusty bean cap and then i will just duplicate this material and apply to this one this one this one and this one and let's create one more material to apply here and here and then i will just change the color to like some type of uh, dark material maybe i will just add the blue blue dark so the look is completed i think i have to make the pizza board and make the pizza this one white so increase the brightness down the reflectivity and yeah that's it this is pretty much it and i will create a new layer which is gonna be our background and make it 12 by 12 and place it here so here you can see the issue i have to fix it that's it you can use some of the pots to make uh, this side and you can use a few of the things around here and here you know i have to make the this one as well so let's apply the first green then maybe i will apply this one then i will apply the white one then the same same thing repeat again and the green and the white and hit ok now let's create a new camera maybe 135 like this let's go to the new show lead and I will make it white that's gonna be our background Go to element 3D, go to the scene setup again and I will select this plane and I will make it two sided and I will make it you know matte shadow and hit ok. So I will create a new group of part this one and i will just rotate it you can see i will just rotate it now. so i will add a keyframe on the y direction and i'll maybe go to the four second and i will just add a one loop so it will loop but it's not looping correctly so i will press minus one
uh, the looping is very fast so I will make it slow and even I can press F9 so even I can press F9 so it will start slow and you know just so this is good and then I can zoom it a little more like this way and then I can go to the render setting go to the ambient occlusion enable it and then I can use the ray rest and then I can just tweak some of the settings like I can make the contrast 2.9 gamma maybe 1 and maximum distance is pretty good but you can just if you want you can just make it little higher spread amount 0.85 and uh, the red test bios make it one and the intensity i will press make it 0.9 and change the lighting and press something like 100 and then i will just create a new light that gonna be our sunlight point light maybe parallel light anything let's suppose i want a parallel light and uh, make it from this direction And just change the color to a little warmer not too much go to the element 3d shadows enable shadow ray trace shadow and then go to the lightning influence and increase this value go to the point light Go to the element 3D, make it 500 or maybe 800. Perfect. Because light is not moving, so what I can do, I can just link the light with null. So now the light is also moving in a direction. The best thing what you can do uh, you can just change the light from parallel to spot so you'll get the softer shadow and hit ok for now let's come over here and let's go to element 3d to make this plane little bigger and maybe i can make 45 to 45 and that's it go to the shadows and make the samples maybe 5 and good the scene is very good but there is some issues I mean if you want to make you can see the highlight is the light is affecting it too much so I can just go to the output and make the highlight compression to 1 and it's good now and one more thing guys you can go to the scene setup and here is a uh, i think issue select this press r and let's make it smaller one more thing you can just select any material and you can add some of the illumination which give you a different look so let's suppose i select the illumination of this color i mean select this one go to the illumination select this one and select this material go to the illumination use a diffuse color and make the intensity a little bit just like 15 and check it you can see this is i mean for me this is this works like a global illumination so if i want i can apply to every color so let's suppose I want for the red. So I will select the red color. Go to the illumination and make it 12. Same for the green. I can do select the green one. And go to the illumination and make it 12. You can see. So this looks good 
as always for me and if you don't want to move the light you can just simply unlink it so it will rotate every time so all part will come in a sun direction and in a shadow time also and uh, what i can do i have a custom background so i can apply, uh, apply a gradient ramp you know apply a gradient ramp and make this from this direction and then i can change the color to maybe warm some warm color like this or maybe any any other color if you think so let's suppose if i want a cooler but the sun is very harsh so i will make it this color or maybe check this color as well as and once everything is done go to the element 3d and you can bump up the samples anytime you can just also go to the physical environment and you can just load a hdri if required so i don't want usually but let let me do it so let's suppose i want this one and hit okay and go to the exposure and gamma i will just down the gamma to make it like or make it to everything is depends and i can just down, down the lightning influence or i will make it in i mean increase it and and in the end you can just add enhance multi sampling super sampling and make it to here and also when you are going to render enable motion blur and i also do i add a curse adjustment to add the curse effect do you know just color correct a little bit maybe down the green go to the blue channel and you know just add a hue and saturation maybe and desaturate it little bit add a new adjustment layer and add a noise effect and maybe make it 12 and let's check it and if you want you can just you know just go to the spotlight and maybe i can change the diffusion to 10 and i can maybe change press p and change the camera angle on the top so this layer will also create the shadows so this is the idea how you can create some low poly work using element 3d completely element 3d and i hope i and one more thing guys you can also if you think to bad this things little bit more you can add a, another light this going to be our ambient light maybe 5% or maybe even more it depends make it white and make it maybe 12 so it will bright the whole scene little bit you can see so i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you got the idea how to create the low poly using element 3d basic primitives and don't forget to download the project file from my patreon page and very soon we will make more tutorials and this is the tutorial which i wanted to make from a long because there is a, a lot of possibility possibilities using element 3d basic primitives in low poly so here is the tutorial and here is the idea so i hope you got the idea and everything so thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and will see you next time with another great excited element 3d tutorial see you then bye bye